Hey guys, peace, love, and light. No, the full, yeah, the full is the moon. Okay, one more time. The moon is not completely full yet, but it does have a red ring around it, or the blood moon. It's a uh, blood moon in Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio is all about a death and a rebirth. Now the Scorpio has appear, appeared in the veil as well. I captured it. Along with Medusa, and along with a few other things. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so, the messages I've been getting with this particular moon, it's really big. Anubis is here, and I, and I don't say that lightly. I posted in my community how I experienced that, and how it was validated. And I trust it. And uh, no offense, I don't care if you believe me or not. I know what I know, I feel what I feel, and I trust it. Something is being, and they're trying, they're really trying to block Christ, is what they're really trying to do. It's not going to work, but this is uh, an eclipse, so I was shown three, I was shown three um, pyramids, but like they were ship pyramids, and then I was shown uh, like, what would be, like three huge spheres aligning, like with this, thank you for the validation, um, it's like a, it's an opening, it's a, a, a way. Something's being birthed through this. Now, with the hummingbird, I'm doing research on the hummingbird, because the hummingbird was the solar flare that came off of Solaris, okay? The hummingbird is connected to the Most High God. And then we have this moon, which is a flower moon, the hummingbird and the flower, the nectar of life. A really big message, really, like, profound, powerful powerful message um from creator and a birth is happening and then this the hopi the hopi uh stories of the hummingbird along with the aztecs and i was getting messages about the mayans and the aztec and i was being shown the stargate looking like the mayan golden coin um and then i was getting the number six sixteen twenty that jumped out at me and then I was shown 2016 so I don't know if that was the last time that we had an eclipse in a Scorpio flower moon um not exactly I, I know we have but I don't remember the date but they were showing me 2016 um this could be something on your path as well that ended in 2016 and now there's a rebirth happening um you know put that where that fits because it's big it's big, but I feel this is about Christ. Osiris is here. Isis is here. And then I was reminded today, well, not really reminded, but just shown again what I filmed months and months and months ago with Anubis and the Chalice and the Hathors in the Book of Life with Isis. Because Isis is bringing back Osiris, and she is. Believe me, I don't. Again, I really don't care. I'm not saying that to be rude. I just don't have time for people who leave silly comments because you're not there and, and, and not to impugn anybody. Really, really, I'm not here to impugn anybody. This is just the messages I get and I trust it. And I've been shown so much and I'm being guided to share it with those who it resonates with. Especially if you understand the fact that Anubis is here. We will hear Archangel Michael's footstep on earth and we will. I feel Archangel Michael and Anubis are connected. Very much so. Anubis is not a negative entity. If you think that, I'm sorry that I am not the channel for you because he is not. He's all about balance. I guess if you're not doing the right thing, you would be afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him. At all. I feel he's a very much of a protector. I have felt Anubis. My mom, my mom always had all these... She did all this reading, and my mother was a seer as well, and... You know, she knew a lot of this stuff was coming back in the 70s. I grew up listening about all this. Because my mother would get messages too. And I used to touch the pictures of Anubis. And I could feel his sorrow. And I just got validation on that. I could feel his sorrow about Osiris. And I could feel, I just could feel him. So, if you think he's negative, then, you know, maybe just check your compass. Because mine's good. So, big moon, big moon. If, if, if the 15th is huge, which is the 6th in the traditional tarot, that is divine lovers, which would be Isis and Osiris. 
um, the flower moon, a new birth with the hummingbird, blessed by God creator. Um, it's a lot of divine messages are coming through with this moon. I will be doing a reading. Um, I don't, I'm not a turn and burn reader. I'm just going to put that out there. For those of you who like my readings, clearly I, I just can't do the turn and burns, read the readings every day and stuff like that. And I do do private readings and I trust and rely on when I'm actually supposed to do that. I know that can kind of be frustrating for people who want a reading right away, but, um, I go with what. I hear and feel from the Most High God. I never force anything. Um, I'm not supposed to. I'm a true oracle. And um, I've been getting, I have someone I have to do a reading for that I have been getting messages for that I've actually started up doing it. Um, I'm trusting what I'm guided to do, let's put it that way. So, and I'm guided to do a reading on these energies. Um, tomorrow's Friday the 13th. That is not an unlucky number. That is not a negative thing. That is a really divine thing, especially with this moon. It's a blood moon. Blood is about giving birth, shedding of the womb, right? And, and shedding, the shedding of old into the new birth, right? Brings life, the bringer of life, the breath of life, peace, 